Goosebumps is rated West. Because it may be too spooky for kids. All right, folks. Hello, Goosebumps fans. Someone actually asked, what monsters do I want to see in the new series? Who can they bring into this? Well, sadly, I have to go with the agenda of I want the books. I want the reprint of the books, please. Reprints of the books. And I'm pretty sure at this point, Spongy might be like, oh, shit, no, 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 no. And it's like, yes, Monster Blood 2 and 3. No! <laughs> like, Monster Blood 2 and 3. Yeah, Cuddles has to be in the freaking damn show. Cuddles has to be in the show. Big ass Evan has to be in the show. I want those to be reprinted. I want them to have new covers. I want them to have new covers so we can finally put the freaking theory to rest of where Cuddles came from. And how in the world can he fight? So as we have that done, Brandon, get to work. Get to work, Brandon. Get to work. Get to work, Brandon. Uh, let's see. Anyone else? Mm, I think it would be cool to have Mr. Wood back. And like I said, if they lean towards the game they released many times before, they released the game so many times. I just like, oh, it's on 3DS. It's like, no, they released it everywhere. And I'm like, oh, since you released it everywhere, you might as well finish up what's going on with Mr. Wood. Bring Mr. Wood in this. Sadly, you have to go buy the video game version of him, but hey, you could have him as a video game version, and then he's like, I don't like these clothes. Ugh. It's like, yeah, Slappy already freaking failed. And then he just takes off the clothes and put on his clothes that he has in the book or newer versions of the clothes or basically what you got in the comic book slash horror town, which, yeah, they lean towards horror town. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure maybe Ms. Marg would be a part of this, too, but I doubt it. Yeah, and size is like that's an easy book for him to get. Oh my gosh, what if they do a twofer? Because they do the two-in-one books. That means that technically uh, Mrs. Marg's two-part story can be one book. And in that case, it's like, okay, well, let's add this more to it, baby. Body squeezers. It's like, yeah, body squeezers. I don't know about Revenge of the Body Squeezers. I'm sorry, I don't think we can do a three-in-one book. But we can do a two-in-one book, so if there's part one, part two... Make that new. Yeah, put that in this. Yeah, it's like get a new one and put that in this. Special edition. Yeah, I'm here to help you sell books. That's what I'm here for, um, Scholastic, is to help you sell books. Spend more books. That's what I'm trying to help you here, man. I'm trying to help you out. I guess Invisible Boy can return. Why not? It's like, yeah, bring Invisible Boy back so you can finally release the right book. Uh, let's see. What are books that they actually forgot? No, Avengers Snowman? Could the Snowman show up? Mm, uh, I don't think they can do that. Uh, what about Helga? Or Hilda? That would be cool. Yeah, a random freaking robot Viking woman. That would be cool. That would be freaking cool. I would, I would like it. It's like, yes, please. Either um, Fergie. Actually, not really Fergie, but... Oh, what was the one? Uh, Christy Alley. Please cast Christy Alley for that role. Christy Alley. Final answer. Christy Alley for that role. Christy Alley. Or um, maybe Mariah Carey. One of those. <laughs> it's like one of those. <laughs> oh, man. One of those. Bonus points if you decide to actually make it like Courage the Cowardly Dog reference too. Yo! <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, damn. Uh, I guess we could maybe bring a dog into this so Barking Ghost can get a reprint cover. And basically, Barking Ghost will be maybe like um, Ginyu or even crazier. It'll just be a freaking dog that jumps into someone's body and now he has control of them, over them. I mean, that works. Like, freaking, that works. It's a ghostly dog that's able to jump inside someone's body and now he has control over them for a certain time. I know that's not like what the book had, but good enough. <laughs> oh, let's see. Anyone? Uh, what other ones that's actually good that's like they haven't done yet? Well, we can't do any of the camp ones. That doesn't make sense. So that's not going to show up. Uh, they already have. Be careful what you wish for. They already did that one. 
even though I say "frick you," I'm cursed a crystal woman. <laughs> it's like "frick you." <laughs> uh, okay, what other ones that's like should be here for people to have? Uh, did they actually? Oh yeah, they did, but they didn't do the return to Terror Tower. It's like, yeah, I would like you guys to really re-release that, please. It's like it's technically a sequel. You should just really release it. Give Werewolf Skin a freaking love, baby. Give Werewolf Skin some love. Give it some love. It's like, I know you want to not do it, but give it some love, damn it. Give it some love. Yeah, it would be kind of cool. So this will just turn into a freaking monsters that's going to wear you fest. The Haunted Mask shows up. The Werewolf Skin shows up. <laughs> that would be kind of cool. But I don't think they're going to do that kind of wave thing. But it will be kind of cool that you figure some way out to do werewolf skin. Even though, sadly, the second movie, like I said before, was a great opportunity to release werewolf skin. It was a costume that came to life. That technically is werewolf skin, you dumb jerks. <sighs> Anything else? Anything else that's monster related? I think that's it. It's like, yeah, I would love to see monster blood in it, but... Well, Monster Blood has to be a part of it, considering Cuddles. So, yeah, we'll see how that plays out. Anyone else? Uh, maybe say cheese and die again. That camera shows up, but it's broken. Yeah, that would be kind of cool. A nice little twist being like, oh, I know this camera. This camera is say cheese and die. It's like, oh, no, no. It's th they have freaking three. They have free books. You have to figure out which camera it is. <laughs> it's like, oh, crap. Which camera is it? And it turns out they thought it was the first one, but nope, it's the second one, the second book's camera, or technically the second, the first camera, but it's glitched out. That works. That fucking works. <sighs> Anyone else? Anyone else? Any other one? Any other one that I can think of that it's like, oh, I would love them to redo, like the re-release. I'm pretty sure there's many other ones, but I'm, I think that it's going to be kind of hard to bring them in there. Oh, how to kill a monster. Okay, let's bring them into this. I'm not going to talk about the teddy bear monsters. Yeah, and the teddy bear monsters, I'm okay that you're not going to do it again. I'm I'm cool with that. But it would be cool if they do, though, and it makes sense. It's like, yeah, they're in the forest. It's like, yeah, that works. That freaking works. That works, man. That works. Uh, I wish I had a big list of all the monsters in all the books, but I'm just thinking about it at the top of my head. I think that's everyone that really should be there technically. And it's like if there's books that haven't they haven't done and it's like it's not really a no no, it's just that they don't they too stupid to figure things out. It's like, yeah, it's like throw those monsters in here. But just so you know, it's like I'm cool with all the monsters, which I think there was forty something monsters in all in the first movie. I'll be cool if you actually bring the monsters back and feature them in the, in the episodes because we need to have our peepers on them. I don't want to look at concept art and be like, oh, that's what you look like. It's like, no, I want to see them in action. I want to see them in video. I want to see them move. I want to see them move. I want to see all of them that they have, you know? That's what I want to see. They had them at night. They had them all bunched up together in the freaking gym. It's like we didn't get to see them at all. I would have at least like maybe, you know, in the DVD, which is like, yeah, that would have been cool that they're like, hey, it's like, yeah, just special ones where it's like here. Here's today. We're going to check out what Mr. Dr. The Professor Shock looks like. So here's what Professor Shock looks like. Maybe show us how his makeup works and speed run that. And it's like, yeah, here's Dr. Shock and here's how he looks. And hey, isn't it awesome? Yeah. Make sure you check him out in the movie. It's like, bing, bang, boom. It's like, do all, not 40, but I'll just say do most of all the ones that actually are featured there. So we actually have a good look at them instead of this crap of where it's like, well, we have some pictures online and you have to freeze the freaking movie to see them. And it's like, dude, what the frick? Oh, Dr. Brewer. No, they did, did they? Mm, I don't remember. I don't think they released that book. Did they? I don't, they might have released it. If they might have released it, then okay. If they didn't release it, then yeah, Dr. Brewer should be in this show as well. 
All right, well, I'm actually out of ideas, but that's basically all the monsters I wish to see. Yeah, I mean, Mary Ellen, uh, let's look what he said. No, hold on, let me share what he actually said first before I end this. All right, what did you say? Who, what monsters do you want to see? Mr. Wood, M Mary Ellen, Rocky, Dennis, the Haunted Mask, Monster Blood, Fifi, the Haunted Dog, the Haunted Car, and Rip the Cat should be in it, in my opinion. Did they do Cry of the Cat? Yeah, I don't think they did Cry of the Cat. So since they didn't do Cry of the Cat, then yeah, yeah, I'm in on that one. Uh, as for everyone else as a ventriloquist dummy or a doll, they already did. I mean, I'm not being a jerk, but it's like they already did those. They already have the books out. I know I would love to see Mary Ellen. I would like to see how Dennis would play out in different form. Rocky, I guess I would like to see Rocky in different form as well. Maybe we'll get a nice little shout out, you know, maybe they'll just be Easter eggs in the show where it's like you have this collection of whatever's in an antique store. That'll be kind of cool. That'll be a nice little shout out, I guess. Yeah, and that'll be a cool place where Mr. Wood is hiding. <laughs> it's like Mr. Wood is hiding in there. Anyways, have a scary day. Have a scary night.